Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you couldn't tell by the title, I've just come back from America and today I'm going to be giving you a haul of all the things that I bought when I was out in Disney World. So me and my boyfriend Harvey, we went to Disney World Florida for 10 days and it was amazing. If you checked out my previous video, you would know all of the things that were on my bucket list for Disney World and it was a very extensive list, I have to say but I actually managed to do pretty much everything that I set out to do. It was just the experience of a lifetime. It was so magical and it was my and my boyfriend's first holiday together as well, which is just so special in itself. And yeah, I just had the most amazing time. I would 100% go back in a few years as well. It was just the most amazing experience of my life. Me and my boyfriend will definitely be doing more traveling in the future. So definitely subscribe if you want to follow along on our journey and see where we travel to next. But anyway, I'm super excited to show you all the things that I bought when I was out in America. I probably spent way more than I should have and I don't really want to know how much I spent either, so let's just leave it at that. So the first thing I actually bought wasn't in Disney World, it was actually on the plane on the way out to Florida. We flew with Virgin Atlantic and they were incredible. I highly recommend flying with Virgin anywhere, long haul really, or just in general. They were just amazing, the staff were so nice, and you get so much for your money. The food was amazing, they give you so many snacks and drinks for free. Um, or like included in the price, I guess. You also get like a blanket and headphones and a little pillow too, which is just so nice. I, I would 100% fly with them again if I was going anywhere long haul. But obviously the flight is not complete without having a good browse through the little brochures that they give you. So I definitely did have a really good look through <laughs> all the items that they had in the brochures and I spotted this. It's basically a Virgin Atlantic plane model. I love it so much. I feel like it'll just look really nice just like on display. Um, yeah, it's really cute. So when we got to Disney World, these are the first things that me and my boyfriend bought. Basically, Disney do a deal where you can buy this refillable mug for, I think it's like 21 or $22. So you get free refills for your entire stay, which I think is amazing. Um, it saved us so much money on like buying like five dollar drinks every single day we still did buy a few drinks here and there but these were the main things that we used the only downside is you can only refill them in your hotel so in the parks there's no like stations to fill them up me and my boyfriend just filled them up before we left our hotel and then like had it throughout the day or for the morning basically and they do so many different things as well. They do like hot and cold tea, they've got Coke, Sprite, Fanta, um, they've got Cherry Coke as well. Sometimes we were around our hotel pool as well, so it was nice to just come back and refill these up as many times as we wanted. Um, and I definitely think we got our full use out of these as well. So if you're planning a Disney trip soon, I highly recommend getting these because it will just save so much money and they're just really convenient as well. But also you get a little souvenir out of it, so um, yeah, it's really cute and it'll look nice on display as well. Okay, so I think what I'm about to show you is my favourite thing about the entire Disney trip in itself. And it's this. I mean, it's not a Disney trip without pin trading, is it? So it might be a bit excessive, I know, but it was my first time in Disney. Well, first time in Disney World, Florida. And I just, I had to, I had to do this, okay? I have to. <laughs> in no way saying that if you do a Disney trip, you have to do pin trading and buy pins and all that. It's just like a fun thing to do if you want to do it. And I really, really enjoyed like going through the shops and just like picking out pins that were just, had like personal meaning to me. And yeah, it's just such a fun thing to do when you go to Disney. So if you do have the money to do it, I would highly recommend doing it because it's just such a fun thing to do, especially if you've got kids as well. Um, it's just a nice way to like spice up the trip. I am aware there are so many pins on here that you probably can't see them all properly so I will go through each one that I got. First one on here is this Disney 100 Moana which I think is so cute. This is actually, I think this is the only Moana pin 
that I saw on our entire trip. I don't think I saw any other Moana ones. Next one is this Disney 50. It's got the Disney 50 Minnie and Mickey on it. Um, I love this one, I think it's so cute. The next one I love so much is a Princess Belle. Princess Belle is one of my favorite princesses, so I really love this one so much. By the way, I forgot to say the lanyards that I've got here, I also got in Disney World and it came as a pack. So I got the lanyard and then four pins and they were four princess pins. So this pin here, this area one was part of the pack and it says own it girl on it, which I think is so cute. Um, it's su such a cute like, little quote and I love Ariel as well. She's one of my favourites too. The next one I got when we went to Blizzard Beach and it's this Stitch one. This one just makes me giggle every time I look at it because I think Stitch looks so funny but in like a really cute way. And he's just, he's got his sunglasses on, holding a pineapple and it says chillin' on it. The next one is this Minnie Mouse one and she's holding shopping bags, which I thought was so me. I do have a bit of a shopping addiction, I can't lie. So when I saw this one, I was like, that's definitely a bit of me. So I had to get this one. And then the next few ones here, my boyfriend actually gave me because he got them in packs. My boyfriend is obsessed with Stitch. So he wanted to collect like all the stitch pins he could find and then he like packs that he got he gave me some from the packs. So he gave me this robotic mini that came in a pack and then he gave me these angel ones that came in a pack as well which are so cute and I think it, it's really nice too because my boyfriend has like the matching ones to the angel of stitch. I just feel like it's a really nice thing to have between us. And then this one here was also part of the pack with the lanyard and it's Princess Jasmine and it says kindness never goes out of style, which is so true. So that's the first side of the lanyard. And then on the other side here, towards the end of the trip, I bought a 2023 mystery pack pins and it comes with two. And luckily enough, I actually got the Mickey and Minnie one, which I thought was like really good because then it's sort of like matching those two are up there it's a bit of a weird shape like a almost like a bunting type shape but yeah that's just how it came the next one is an avatar one i absolutely love avatar and this was actually the first ride we went on oh the <laughs> so mine and my boyfriend's favorite ride of the entire trip was the guardians of the galaxy cosmic rewind we went on it twice and we got lightning lane both times that we went on it each time you go on the ride it plays a different song the music just makes it so fun like i don't know what it is about the music on the ride but it just makes it like 10 times more amazing and obviously we had to commemorate our favorite ride so in the shop afterwards i found this i am groot pin i don't think i've said it on this channel yet but i am obsessed with groot i love groot so much he's my favorite like marvel character i guess you could say and yeah my boyfriend actually spotted this pin out and i was like screaming inside when i saw it because it's just so cute and then this is another pin that came with the lanyard and it's Princess Tiana and it says live your passion and I love this one so much because I feel like I really resonate with that quote right now because I feel like I'm living my passion by starting YouTube like just putting myself out there and like having a go at things and I'm absolutely loving it so far. Okay so these next few pins are from Universal Studios because we did go to Universal as well on our trip. So in one of the little shops in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, I got this Hogwarts pin. It was really cute. And then we also got this Butterbeer pin. It was the first time that me and my boyfriend tried Butterbeer and we loved it. We only tried the cold Butterbeer though because it, it wasn't like hugely expensive, but it was a little bit pricey for what it was. So um, we did have two cold Butterbeers and we really liked it. But if I was to ever go back, I would definitely try like the hot butterbeer and I think there's frozen butterbeer too. Trying the butterbeer just made everything so surreal. I actually felt like I was in Harry Potter and it was just amazing. <laughs> the next pin I got is this Universal Studios one and I was thinking of getting just like a classic Universal one but I saw this one. I thought it was a lot more me because it's like a glittery globe and it's white so I thought that was a bit more girly and a bit more me. This is definitely in my top five favourite pins on this lanyard. So in Despicable Me, you obviously got Agnes and her unicorn and in the film she goes, it's so fluffy, I'm gonna die. It's all this pin and it's her unicorn and it says, it's so fluffy on it. When I saw this, I, it was mine. 
it was it was always meant to be mine i couldn't not get it it's it's just so cute in universal we also ate in the hard rock cafe so i just got a classic hard rock pin and then the last pin on the lanyard is this like mickey apple and it's got his like fantasia wizard hat on the top and i got this one because we went and saw the Fantasmic show on our last night there and before we went into the show I saw this pin and so I got that one to commemorate the show that we went to. Fantasmic was amazing as well. I highly recommend going to see that show if you can too. Just so magical seeing all the characters and the way that they constructed the show was just incredible. So those are all my pins on the lanyard and then on the bottom here I did also buy a little like clear pouch and it's got 2023 on the front and on the back this was my key card that i used to get into our hotel room and then into the parks as well and i find it so cute that you get to keep it as well when we were in blizzard beach i also bought a beach towel i'm not going to open it up because you probably won't be able to see it fully anyway but it's got moana on it and when we were in the shop in our hotel i did see a few different beach towels and i was thinking of getting one but I'm so glad I waited till Blizzard Beach because Blizzard Beach was the only place that I saw this Moana one and as soon as I saw it I was like okay that is the one. <laughs> so I'm so glad I got this. So of course when I went to Disney I had to buy some plush. So the first plush that I got was after the Guardians of the Galaxy ride and I saw this group to Teddy and look how cute it is. It was another one of those moments where I was like, no, I'm not leaving this shop until I have this teddy. So I had to buy it. And I also bought this huge mini teddy. The head is a bit floppy, but it's basically just like a cuddly teddy. When I tell you this is like the most like softest, cuddliest teddy ever, like it just, it just is. I can safely say that I've been sleeping 10 times better with this every night than I was before so um it was 100 worth it in our hotel we had an arcade and there was a photo booth in there so me and my boyfriend just got a few uh photo booth pictures and how cute are these these are gonna look so cute framed or just like put up somewhere so of course i went into sephora when we went to disney springs so let me show you what i got from here this might sound really stupid but i've seen these all over tiktok and i had to get it it's these like hand sanitizer things i don't really know what's so special about them but if you know me, I do love to be a bit of a very basic girly. I think it was just because of the aesthetic, really, that I wanted to get it. I cannot tell you how happy I was to get this. The Rare Beauty Plush. I've been wanting to try this for so long. I know you can get it, like, online in the UK. But there's no shop in the UK at the moment where you can go and, like, swatch all the different Rare Beauty Blushes. Actually, I stand correct on that. I'm pretty sure a new Sephora has just opened in London. Probably do Rare Beauty in there now, so I'll definitely have to go visit there at some point. And I went with the colour Bliss. And I'm definitely a huge Selena Gomez fan, so I was like over the moon when I got that too. <laughs> so those are the two things that I bought in Sephora, but when I went to the till, I also got this freebie from Glow Recipe. It's a toner and niacinamide drops. Do let me know in the comments down below if you've tried Glow Recipe before, just so I know if it's any good or not. If it's not any good, I'd rather not put it on my face, but um, if it is good, then it'll be good to try this out. But yeah, I think that is everything that I got from Disney World. Looking at it now, like showing it to you guys, it doesn't actually feel like I got that much stuff. Definitely when I was buying it, it felt like I got loads but i think i was actually pretty good with what i bought so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you want any more disney related videos or content do let me know in the comments down below and i will happily make more videos to do with my experience in disney world or anything like that so yeah do let me know thank you guys so much for watching this video and i will see you in the next one bye